Hello, I am Mr. 23 and in today's tutorial I am going to teach you how to do a movie poster. Press File, New, let's make a new document. I choose the size of a paper, of a A4, and I rename it into Movie Poster. Ok, now I am going to import each file that I use in this tutorial. You can find the link for uh, every picture inside the description of the video. Ok, I am just dragging it and now I need to make this bigger by pressing the transform tool Ctrl or Command T. Drag this to the right and now place it where you want it to be. In my, in my case I want it to be here at the bottom of the page. Now let's uh, do an adjustment layer curves and now the colors that I'm going to set now I'm going to use those colors to match the colors from this background so double click on uh, each of those uh, pickers so this is the picker for the blackest uh, color in this image yeah but as you can see Nothing happens because I need to select this adjustment layer, not the mask. So be, sh be sure that this layer is selected and now uh, just press and double click this one. So choose the this I think is the blackest color, my image, press OK. Yes, you want to have them as defaults. Then I choose the whitest and uh, the whitest color, not really a white color, it's uh, something like this one. Okay, and the grayest, don't forget to double click all the time. And the grayest, I think somewhere around here. Okay, press OK. Okay, okay. Now, um, I'm going to clip this inside the, the layer so it affects only this image. So press Alt and click between them and you are creating a clipping mask. Now let's bring back another image, the image of those mountains. Okay, just drag it inside your document. Counter command counter or command T. Drag it and make it bigger. Now let's adjust the colors first and clip it inside this mountain image. Be, sh be sure that you selected the adjustment, not the mask. Click only once now on the black, blackest color of the image and uh, let's see which is it. I think this one here. Now the whitest is somewhere around here. Pink. Yeah, something like that. And the grayest, I think, uh, somewhere in the mountains. Mm, something like that. Click OK. Now, let's hold Shift and bring those two layers underneath my uh, main layer, the first layer. And now, let's create a mask on this layer. Click on it and cli uh, clip, click on the mask and now take the gradient tool and be sure that you have um, the black and transparent selected and now just drag a line uh, from top to bottom and as you can see it uh, makes the bottom layer transparent on the top part. Now drag the top layer until you think it's ok for your image. Um, I think something like that I need for my poster. Ok, if you want more, uh, if you want to delete more, I'm mean, not delete, to hide more of the image, you can do the process again. So you can uh, draw something like that. If if you think it's more, it's too much, you can always revert the colors here. So you have white first and uh, repeat 
the process as you can see it brings back the image so just play play along with this one yeah until you think uh, it's okay and now to hide better the bottom part just uh, take the brush tool yeah and uh, take um, a soft brush and just paint on the margins where they should uh, intersect let's make it bigger and also change the flow flow to something really small like 20 percent and just brush and as you can see it hides better the image okay now let's get rid of the um, clouds how do we do that we go on the bottom layer this one and um, we take the quick selection tool and we select the mount okay now zoom in and let's take the lasso tool and hold alt to deselect parts that we don't want and if you want parts uh, included you need to hold shift but right now for what we want to deselect we need to hold alt okay now we have our image ready let's select also this part okay till the way down and now just press the mask tool as you can see the sky is gone now we see that we have some uh, gradient on top is because of uh, this mask so take again the brush tool and just brush on top of that gradient and it will go away all right now as you can see the top of the mountains is too straight it's a straight line so we need to blur it a bit so we do that by uh, going to so be sure that you selected the mountains go to the filters and choose from blur gallery you choose the field blur and now we want to add some blur points so just click where you want the blur to be and drag this slider to let's say 2 and we can do that wherever we want the blur to be okay something like that you can always come back and blur more if you want because it's a smart object okay another one and i think we're done click ok and as you can see it's blurred This is after, this is uh, before and after, okay? Before and after. I saw some uh, uh, things here. So go on the uh, mask, take again the brush tool, make the, the size, make it uh, really small and just brush where you see those selections that you don't need. Okay. Okay, let's see if we have others. No, that does it. All right, now let's move on. We need to uh, match those two colors better. So I'm going to bring all the layers into a group. So I uh, hold shift and I click on uh, the first and the bottom layer and then I press the group. So as you can see, we have a group now. So let's do a photo filter adjustment and I choose this orange color. And then let's take a, another adjustment, color lookup. And from here we select um, the late sunset. But even if we reduce the opacity to 50%, it's still too uh, dark for what we need the color is okay 
path is too dark. So double click on the layer and here we need to get rid of the blackest colors in the adjustment. So hold alt, click between this slider yeah, and then drag the right slider to the right and click OK. So this is the adjustment layer. I think it looks nice. All right, now let's bring the characters, the uh, people inside the poster. So this one is the first one. You can select the, uh, this guy by using the quick selection tool and you can make a nice selection. Uh, you can uh, use select subject if you have this version of Photoshop and it does a really nice job or you can use other types of selection uh, my favorite it's the pen uh, I select it with a pen tool and uh, because uh, I have already done that I won't stay now uh, until I select everything let me show you I already selected before so you can find always, that's why I'm working with uh, the pen tool because it creates a path that you can always find in the paths here, right? And if you hold control and click on the path, it selects what you did before with the path tool, with the pen tool. Now, let's add a mask to this layer and drag it into your document. Okay, okay, here. Now, I want this to be behind everything so I drag it behind the mountains I make this one smaller let's say uh, something like that and now let's match this guy with the colors of our document so uh, let's add a curse adjustment and clip it inside by holding alt now the darkest color I think it's in his shorts the whitest color is something on here on his shoulder, something like that. Okay. Um, and now the grayest, I think, is somewhere around here. Okay. Um, I think it looks nice. Now we move on to the other guy. Uh, it's a soldier. Soldier, and because uh, there are a lot of elements in this uh, picture, of course you can select him by uh, taking the quick selection tool and be really careful with the parts. Um, yeah, of course you can select subject. Uh, also, it does a really nice job, but as I said, I prefer the pen tool and. Uh, if you are not uh, used with this pen tool, uh, be sure to check my tutorial. I make a tutorial soon about how to use the pen tool, which I find uh, the perfect tool for selecting subjects in a picture. Okay, so I've done this before, so we won't lose time with the selection. Uh, and of course you can find uh, the selection in the path. So hold, hold control and click, and now we have a perfect selection of what we want. Uh, just add a mask and drag this to your uh, document. All right. Uh, I want this one to be behind my first guy. So let's make it smaller. Control or Command T and bring him around uh, here. Let's make it a bit bigger. Um, something like that. All right. Now. Of course, let's make a curves adjustment, bring it by holding Alt, clip it inside, be sure that the adjustment is selected. Take the blackest point, the blackest color, I think is here. The whitest color, I think it's on the number two. Okay, let's zoom in. Yeah. Something like that, and the gray color, I think it's on his helmet. Okay, something like that. All right, now let's bring the last guy. Is this one? We drag it 
ah sorry <laughs> we need to select it the same we uh, because this is a, a white background it's easier to to select it uh, you can uh, easily select him with the quick selection tool but because I want it to be perfect I used the pen tool and uh, I select him really really careful uh, to the sides so I do the same thing I go to pads the hold control and I click on the subject and then I'm going back to the layers and I add a mask then I drag him to my document and I bring him behind everybody okay uh, now Let's uh, convert him to a smart object and Ctrl T, Ctrl or Command T, make him bigger. I think it's too much. Right click on the image, I need him to, to stay like that. And let's make him uh, smaller, something like that. All right. Now, let's add another curves adjustment. The same thing, clip hit. Just hold Alt and clip it inside that layer. The darkest color I think is here. The whitest, I think it's here. Something like that. And the grayest might be on his shirt. Okay, something like that. So we matched our subjects with the background. And now I need to fill this white background with a gradient. So I go on my first layer of the document. I click on the adjustment and I add a gradient. I have this gradient already done. So I used those colors. You can uh, see the combination here is C2A68B. And another one, which is uh, FADA. A and 8. Alright, so I use this one and now um, I have a, um, something like a metal, like a grunge metal. Let's drag it, place it uh, on top of the gradient and let's set it to overlay. Okay, it looks really nice. Now, um, let's zoom in. As you can see here, the difference between the mountains and the people inside the poster is not really nice so we need to add something there but first let's bring all the subjects in one group let's uh, go to the first one and hold shift until the last one okay so i select all of them and i press the group all right so first let's name this one uh, background backgrounds and this one um uh, actors let's say actors all right now i want to add uh, between so on top of the actors and below the background i want to add something like a fog something like uh, i don't know like uh, cloud something like a cloud so i have this brush you can use uh, any other sub brush let's take um, a color from our document here let's say here and start to brush as you can see it blends better the background the subjects with our background okay and we need to add uh, this cloud on top of everything so it's much better the blending is much better so I create a new layer let's name it uh, fog fog 2 this one is fog one all right and i start to paint on top of the mountains and i reduce more the opacity the flow sorry and also the opacity and i paint over my document all over so this blends in much much better okay now um i need to add another character i have this woman which is like that it's a png um it's already selected so i just drag it and i'm going to place her right in the middle and i need to make her smaller Control or command t just make her smaller and let's say 
um, we place her around here. Okay, let's adjust the colors because she uh, doesn't match with our document's color. Um, before shrinking her, let's make her uh, right click here on the layer and convert her to a smart object and then shrink her and place it where you need to be. In our case, mm, I think something like that. Okay, now uh, let's add a curves adjustment layer, clip it, and now select the darkest color of her dress. I think the mask has the darkest color, and the whitest color I think is somewhere on the sword. No, I think it's too much, something like that, and the grayest somewhere around her pants. Okay, so this is uh, with and without the adjustment layer. I think it looks nice. Now we need to add some shadows so she looks from this picture so she looks like uh, she is uh, on the road. Yeah. So we need to add uh, two types of shadows and uh, one type of light. So underneath her uh, shoes, her boots, let's make a new layer. Let's call it uh, first shadow and take the brush tool and uh, take a softer brush all right let's bring this back to 100 percent and uh, something like that 18 let's make the brush smaller and now we need to paint with something uh, uh, with a color from the uh, background so let's choose this one from her shoes and let's set the blending to uh, multiply so i just add a small small shadow underneath her boots something like a contact shadow that's it no not too big important because you will have we will have another type of shadow really soon so just drag drag with the pen just draw and I think this is it. This is the first shadow. Now, I think it's too much. Let's um, reduce the opacity to, to 90 or 80, even 80 percent, something like that. And now, let's make uh, the bigger shadow, and uh, we will make a light bit in, in uh, the back here on the mountain, so the light is behind her. So we need a shadow to be in front of her. And now, uh, hold Ctrl and click on the girl layer and go underneath, make a new layer and just uh, take the paint tool and uh, paint into it uh, any color you want. Now, Ctrl or Command T and flip vertical. As you can see, we have a shadow, a very nice shadow. Alright, I drag the shadow so it starts from her leg. Uh, I set the blending to multiply and as you can see we have a piece missing here. Yeah. So let's take the brush tool, let's set it to 100% uh, and now let's take the heart brush, make it a bit bigger, not too big, to match her I think uh, the color is too intense. We need the. Uh, I think uh, this color it was no. So if we lost the color, we undo and now we are on the right track. I think the brush is too big. We select another size. Yeah, this is perfect. All right, now we do the same steps, set it to multiply, and we have our shadow. Now, let's hold the uh, Ctrl and T and bring back again the controls, the transform tool, and now right click and uh, let's add some perspective. I think something like that. 
Now, we want to delete this uh, part, so add a mask, take the black, and just draw over that. Now, the shadow is too intense, and we need to blur it a bit. So, filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and let's see how much we need. Something like that. And now, because we have a, already a mask, let's take again an, another soft brush, make it uh, bigger, and uh, the flow, make it really like small, like 10%. And now start to draw. I think it's too much. Let's reduce the opacity. And I think it's much better like that because the shadow is uh, lighter if it's too uh, it's far from the subject okay something like that i think it's okay okay good it looks nice and now uh let's add a light let's add some lights inside uh, this layer so um double click on the layer let's call this one uh, warrior so we know which one is it double click and add uh, inner shadow but be sure that you have soft light selected and white as a color and the opacity around 63 and as you can see this one adds some lights on the side okay hit okay and it looks good now um, Let's add more uh, shadows and lights. So create a new layer. Let's call it shadows and lights. Bring clip hit to the girl and now set it to soft light. And if we use the black and the white, the black darkens the shadows and white uh, brings more light. So we need to add some. Um, Okay, the flow, the opacity is, needs to be 100%. Let's add some shadows. Now, let's choose the white. Alright, so those are some uh, few adjustments. And she looks like uh, a person that is already on the road. Yeah, because without the shadows and lights, uh, it's not really looking uh, well. Now, we have uh, the girl is ready and uh, I need to uh, add some um, blur to each of these guys on top because in reality uh, the side of the people, the margins are not really um, that straight. So. Let's uh, select this one, uh, convert him to a smart object, go to filter, blur gallery, fill blur, and now, as you can see, it blurs the whole image, which we don't want. We want to add some blurs. Okay, first thing, I need his face to be really in focus, so here the blur should be zero, yeah, because we need his face to be seen, and here, Let's make this blur like uh, 3 and uh, we're here, same, 3, I think uh, here is too much, this one is too much, so let's uh, keep it to 5, I think it looks much better like that, and we need another one here, another 3. Or even four, and I think now it looks much better. Okay, here I think somewhere around two. Okay, good. Okay, let me show you with and without the blur. So this is without the blur, and this is with blur. Um, as you can see, it looks much better like that. Let's go to the soldier. Uh, right click and convert him to a smart object and then do the same thing filter blur gallery fill blur and now 
what we want to be seeing is his face of course so let's make this one zero and um, of course here we need this part to be blurred so let's say something like six his helmet something like two i think and uh, three here another two or even three and uh, here i need this to be zero okay and here i think uh, we can blur it a bit to one and of source here is zero 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 okay i think now it looks great it's okay and let's move on to the last guy it's already a smart object so filter blur gallery fill blur and first thing click on his eyes between his eyes and set this to zero and then uh here on the ear let's set it to three and um, i think here is too much let's set this to four and here on the neck let's set it to four again and uh, i think here a bit i think one is enough not too much and also here something like three all right let's zoom out okay and i think now it looks much much better Let's go back to the first guy, double click, and let's add some um, glow around him. So I have this um, light orange, and don't forget to set it to screen, and the opacity around 50%. Okay, um, also for the last guy, the same, um, outer glow, the same settings. And let's see if this works for the soldier. If not, we're going to change the color. So double click and choose uh, outer glow. I think it's too much because he's smaller. So let's reduce it. I think it looks better now. All right. On this guy, the first guy, because he's in the front, we will need to add some lights. So go to inner shadow. I know it's uh, inner shadow and <laughs> we use it for the lights but it doesn't matter because it's uh, it's really what we need so as you can see it adds some uh, lights on the side and it is really really nice because we need that light over there okay and i think we could do the same with the last guy uh, in a shadow i think here should be bigger because he is bigger okay and let's see if it works on the soldier uh, in a shadow uh, i think uh, it doesn't really need a lot of lights i think it's okay like that great and now on the soldier let us let add some uh, um, shadow so make a new layer call it shadows and take the black and just uh, paint around here because he's in the back and he should have more shadows on his uh, body okay all right great Let's do the same thing on the last guy, create a new layer, set it to soft light and uh, paint with uh, on the parts that you want to be in uh, much in the dark. Okay, I think it looks nice. Now, I think this fog here it's uh, too much or the one i think this one underneath too much so let's 
bring this a bit down. I think it's much better like that. And now, um, let's add some other adjustments to the girl. So uh, we have the girl here. Let's uh, hide those. We have the warrior. Yeah. So uh, this is her. And of course, with all the um, adjustments with the shadows. So click on the first one and the last one and the layers and group them to a group and we call it warrior. Now I need to add something as a light behind her. So I create a new layer. I call it I name it light one. Sorry. Light one. And now I select the color like that and adjust the paint behind her. Okay, let's zoom out. I think the color is too gray. No, this is too intense. Okay, let's uh, make the brush bigger. Okay, something like that. Now, add another layer and set it to screen and uh, light 2. Let's call it light 2 and take a much brighter color. And um, let's see, this is uh, let's take another one, something like that. Let's make the brush bigger. Yeah, okay. Let's go back to this layer. Let's make it smaller. Okay, and uh, let's set the opacity to uh, 70%. Yeah, I think now it looks, uh, it looks much better. All right, now we need to add some more adjustments. So go to on top of everything and let's add another photo filter. Yeah, this one. Let's add a um, brightness and contrast. Let's reduce the brightness a bit and uh, increase the contrast. Yeah, something like that. And I want to add another color lookup, the same one, which is late sunset. And we do the same thing. Let's set the opacity to 50%. Double click. Hold Alt, click here between those uh, sliders and now drag the right slider to the right and it, it will get rid of the darkest colors in that adjustment. Okay, I think it looks really nice. Now um, we want to merge everything so we do like a screenshot of everything now be because now we have a lot of layers and I want to do a camera row um, adjustment. I press Ctrl, Alt, Shift and I and what it does, it does a screenshot of everything into one layer and I go to the uh, filter and uh, camera row filter and now I need more texture to the image as you can see. Okay, let's <laughs> go back to something like 100%, no, less, like 50%. As you can see, we need more texture and clarity uh, into our image all right and also let's see let's play a bit with the shadows uh, let's see this better okay also with the whites and blacks yeah something like that um, and yeah I think we have a lot of contrast let's reduce it a bit and hit OK so this is the adjustments after we finish uh, with the background and with our subjects. Now we need to add the movie title, of course. And uh, let's make this smaller so I can see. Uh, the return. All right, Ctrl Shift, uh, Ctrl and T to make it uh, bigger. All right, and now Let's uh, convert it to a smart object. Ctrl T again. And now uh, let's um, 
drag the corners so we make this effect to look like a perspective text and now let's shrink it a bit i think it's too much like that okay here all right now we can add some shadows something like that or black if you want or let's pick a color from our document i think this one looks great and now i have a, a document with movie credits so we won't uh, spend a lot of time with the credits all right so the last thing that i would do it's adding a lens flare and uh, the easiest way to do that it's uh, by creating a new layer fill it with black and then go to filter a render and choose lens flare hit ok i choose the first one 52 to 300 millimeters and then i set this one to screen to get rid of the black color and then i move it where i want it to be and i want it to be uh something like here so this is the movie poster tutorial for today i hope you like it if you do please subscribe to my channel to see more of my tutorials See you next time.